awareness. Well, having that information as an additional component of how we can continue then moving forward to make sense of our experiences is healing in and of itself. Because especially as we're you know, developing as, as children, as toddlers, as adolescents, as teenagers, when we are under the care of, and especially in those early childhood years, in need of care, right? We cannot sustain our life on our own. We will hold our parents and our perception of them, which is very much limited developmentally, right? By the fact that we can't zoom out with all this maturity and awareness and understand even the impact of our parents' childhood on the way they're acting, right? We have a much more limited way to understand what's happening. And as a byproduct of that, we do look then to our parents as the holders of all of the answers of the ultimate way of being. And we then can model, right? Or think we need to model them and the way they show up in the world. And even when we are still under their house or independence to them in whatever capacity, I think sometimes seeing our parents, if I really want to simplify what I'm saying, as a human, as an individual, right? Who has had their own childhood and their own experiences that has impacted the way that they're showing up in relationship with me, the adolescent or the teenager or the young adult, right? That can, I think, allow us to see the humanity in our parents, the fact that they might have conditioned ways of being that have been impacted by things that they didn't get in their own childhood. And I think that can then create a bit of space for us to, which is a very normal, necessary developmental stage, which is of differentiating ourselves, right? Becoming an individual, even in interconnection with the family unit. I mean, that's our, one of the major developmental tasks of our childhood is to, right, not only connect with the caregivers around us so that we can get our individual needs met over time, to develop the capacity to be a separate individual, to be curious about our own thoughts and perspectives, to learn how to navigate, as I was talking about earlier, through self-soothing and through knowing how to receive support from others when we're upset, to navigate our emotional worlds, and really simply how to be ourselves, even when those around us have different perspectives, wants, or needs in any given moment. And I think sometimes, again, when we have the awareness that our parents are individuals, um, that they, you know, kind of and create then space for us to be a separate individual, I think that we can, you know, really create the opportunity, even if our parents are struggling with that from their own vantage point, we can create the opportunity to begin to put the space in even those core relationships so that we can begin a journey of getting to know ourselves.